Our checks at one of the major referral hospitals in the country revealed a complete stockout of the following essential drugs. Isonized 300 milligram, Itambutol 400 milligram, Clofazamine 100 milligram, Pyridoxin 100 milligram. There was very little stock left of the rest of the drugs, which can barely last the facility for a week. 54-year-old Jojo, who has been on the medications for the past six months, has drugs that can last him for only three days before his next visit for more medication. And he's already worried. Sometimes I call my for three weeks. I don't know, say, now I short to and I... I don't know if it's because of the drug shortage. I was given only three weeks' supply, and what I have will finish in three days. Jojo is just one of over 76,000 Ghanaians suffering from TB and requiring medication for survival. We have been told not to break in taking the drugs, so I don't know what I would do if I go and I don't get any more. What is more alarming is that statistics from the Ghana Health Service indicate that more than 30 lives are lost to tuberculosis in Ghana each day, while more than 120 people get infected by the TB bacteria daily. This imminent shortage of drugs in the country is due to the fact that Global Fund Commodities for HIV and AIDS, TB and Malaria remain locked up at the ports despite assurances by the government of their clearance. For now, uh, where there is a facility with some stock and uh, new cases come into uh, on to treatment, you have to find a way to pick the medication from some facilities, maybe from one region to the other. The only thing the, the program can do is to manage what is left. Out of the 185 remaining containers that have been at the port for over a year, only one contains the TB medications, which the government is finding difficult to release, though it is aware of the imminent dangers. The Executive Secretary of the Stop TB Partnership Ghana, David Kwesi Afre, says all efforts to make the government understand the gravity of the situation have proven futile. About $86,000 or so, and, and that was paid. Now it's left with whatever process they have to do quickly. The update I had as at last uh, Friday was that the payment was done, but the clearance isn't done yet. And so... For the past one month, we, the TB community, have been interested in pushing for clearance of uh, that one container that contains TB medication, and it is still not cleared. The experts have warned that the repercussions of the situation will not only end with the TB patient, but many more people risk being infected. These drugs need to be cleared as a matter of agency. Sarah Apenko, TV3 News, Accra.